We're going to install Maven on a Linux machine. We'll be using the latest version of Fedora Workstation Edition, a great platform for software development, and the free version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Stick around until the end of the video, and I'll show you how to verify the installation of Maven. This is a fresh install of Fedora Workstation Linux, and we're in our home directory. Let's run a few commands to verify our Linux installation and the version of the kernel that we're using. The command cat slash etc slash os dash release will display the contents of the os release file, which has information about our Linux distribution. Next, by running uname a, we can find out the information about the kernel that we're using. Here we see the kernel name and version in this installation. To install Maven on our machine, the primary requirement is to have a Java installed. So let's verify that we have Java installed on this machine. To do that, we type in Java dash dash version. We're running OpenJDK version 17, the most current long-term support version of Java currently available. So we're good on our Java installation. Now let's see if we have Maven already installed on this machine by running the Maven command mvn dash dash version. We don't have Maven installed, but we can install it by installing appropriate packages. Because I have admin rights on this machine, I'm able to install Maven this way. We answer yes to the prompt, and the download of the appropriate packages begins. The system will then tell us what changes will be made. Let's answer yes, and the changes will be made, including the download, testing, and installation of the packages. Once that's done, we see the information about our Maven installation, including the version 384 and the Maven home directory shown here as well. We can verify this once again by running the maven dash dash version command and seeing the same version information repeated. And that's all we need to do to install Maven. Prior to Maven version 3, it was necessary to set up the environment variable Maven Home or M2 Home. That's no longer the case. Before we go, let's verify our Maven installation by generating some code, compiling and packaging it, and then running the code using an archetype. Archetypes are a great way to quickly construct a basic application, and there are hundreds of archetypes to choose from. We'll create a directory called Work and CD into it. We we'll use the Quick Start archetype to create a very basic Maven application by typing in Maven archetype colon generate dash d group id equals com dot begin secure dot app dash d artifact id equals my app dash d archetype artifact id equals maven dash archetype dash quick start dash d archetype version equals 1.4 dash d interactive mode equals false if you're unsure what all this means, check out this video I have linked here for a complete explanation. Because this is a new installation of Maven, it will download a lot of required dependencies for Maven Central onto our local machine. When it's done, we see the message build success along with the coordinates of our application. A directory called My App has been created. Inside that directory, we find the pom.xml that was generated for us, as well as the root directory where our source is located. We want to assemble and generate code into a jar that we can use to execute our code. To do that, we run the command maven package. If these steps are unfamiliar to you, check out the video I have linked here that will walk you through the process so you're clear about what's going on. When maven finishes, we get the build success message once again. If we run the tree command, we see the directories and files maven has generated for us. Scrolling up, we see the app.java file, which has a small default application that was generated for us. The file we're primarily interested in is the myapp 1.0 snapshot jar file in the target directory. Here, let's run the command java-cp for class path. Specify myapp 1.0 snapshot.jar should be added to our class path, and then the fully qualified name of the application code we generated, com.beginsecure.app.app. Running that code, we get the output that was generated for us, which is simply the message, hello world. At this point, we verified the installation of Maven was successful, and we're ready to get to work creating awesome applications. Thanks for watching, and remember to always begin secure.